Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQA channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use authentication in Rest Assured. So, uh, so last video we have seen how to use get method, post method, and different kind of uh, res like response validation. So for this case, I have used my local host Jenkins installation actually. So uh, URL, admin, and password. So in your case, if you have some API with authentication, you can pass or else you can follow this way also. You can install Jenkins or you can install some local host. So here I have created a login without any authentication. So this also will return 200. Okay. So where we have to give mention the authentication. So rest assured given after given dot auth. So what kind of authentication? So I will make it primitive dot basic inside. I should give username and password, admin and both admin I have created. Okay, let's run. So let's wait for the response. If you are getting other than 200, it will be failed. Yeah, one test failure is zero. Okay, so it's pass. Let's see with failure case. I will add admin one. So this is not actually a valid password. Still, I'm expecting 200. It should fail. Let's see our authentication is working fine or not. So if it is fail, this one is working fine. Yeah, right, fail. Expected is 200 but it is 401 okay so if you are testing 401 here you, you will get to know so in manually i have tried with postman login admin admin one and sent so here also i got 401 invalid password so if you give right password here 200 okay so this is how we have to use authentication there are uh, different type of authentication so if you type you will get to know Auth dot basic and uh, OAuth OAuth two so OAuth two if you have a signature OAuth signature also you can include here so if you have a different kind of authentication you can explore and get it done okay guys thank you so if you face any issue with setting authentication please put into comments thanks for watching please subscribe.